Hello, I'm Jashy Kins, and welcome back to another episode of Jash Reads. This time, we're continuing on with Animorphs number two, The Visitor, by K. A. Applegate. You look tired, Jake said the next morning. We took the same bus to school. Thanks, I said grumpily. Didn't get enough sleep last night? I guess not, if I look as bad as you say. I didn't say you looked bad. I just said you looked tired. He hesitated. He glanced over his shoulder checking to see whether anyone was listening. Fortunately, the noise level was pretty high in the bus. Jake lowered his voice and leaned close to my ear. You, you didn't get creeped out by the shrew, did you? Why, just because I'm a girl? You think the shrew bothered me more than it would have bothered you or Marco? No, that's not it at all, he said earnestly. It's just, see, when I did the lizard morph, that bothered me. I had nightmares. Nightmares? I said it um, too loudly. Then I lowered my voice back to a whisper. Nightmares? <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. When I morphed the tiger, I had dreams too, but not nightmares. What kind of dreams? He smiled. Kind of cool really stalking through a dark forest at night i was hunting something it was like i wanted to catch it <laughs> but at the same time it was like if i didn't catch it that would be okay too because just running and creeping and then running some more through the woods was the best thing in the world i nodded I felt like that after the elephant morph. It was this incredible feeling of being huge and invincible. Like I could never even possibly be afraid of anything. But the shrew is different, wasn't it? Same with the lizard. I guess it's the different characters of the animals. Maybe... Maybe some are good matches for our human brains. Maybe others aren't. I looked out the window for a while. Then I said, you know what scares me? To my surprise, Jake nodded. Yeah, you're afraid that someday we might, might have to more into bugs. I shuddered. I don't think I'll be willing to do that. I think that may be too much. Well, your next assignment is a cat. Tobias was a cat. He said it was amazingly cool. He liked it, just like I really enjoy being a dog. Sometimes when I'm feeling depressed, I really wish I could just morph. Dogs know how to have fun. The bus pulled up in front of the school. Another day of school. Normal life. I looked over the crowd of kids milling around on the lawn and on the steps, I spotted Melissa. 
see you later, Jake. I said, thanks. No problem. We're all in this together. I made my way down the bus aisle and ran to catch up to Melissa. What? But when I got close, I saw that her eyes were red and swollen. She'd been crying. I didn't know what to do. In the old days, I would have just run right up to her and asked what was the matter. Hey, Melissa, how's it going? She looked at me, confused. What? I said, how's it going? She shook her head slowly, like she couldn't believe I was even talking to her. <laughs> what do you care? Melissa, of course I care. What's wrong? Her eyes went kind of blank. She seemed to be looking at nothing but the air right in front of her face. <laughs> What's wrong? Everything is wrong. And, and nothing is wrong. But just the same, everything is wrong. Melissa, what are you talking about? Forget it. She said. She started to walk away. I grabbed her arm. Look, you can talk to me. I'm still your friend. Nothing has changed. Leave me alone, she said grimly. Everything has changed. Everyone has changed. You stopped being my friend and my mom and dad. What? I pressed her. The bell rang loud and shrill. I have to go. She pulled her arm away. What could I do? I let her go. I wondered what she had started to say about her father. Had she discovered what her father was? What her father had become? walked up the steps of the school with my head lowered in thought. As I opened the school door, I ran right into someone. Hey, hey, watch where you're going, young lady. Mr. Chapman? I recoiled in fear. See, you have to realize that this was the man who had once directed a hork shoulder to kill us all if he caught us. Kill us and only save our heads for identification. That kind of thing sticks in your mind. He peered at me. What's the matter with you, Rachel? A little jumpy this morning? I nodded. Yes, sir. I guess I didn't sleep too well. Bad dreams? He asked. My mouth was dry. I guess so, Mr. Chapman. He smiled. A normal human smile. His eyes even crinkled up a little as he grinned down at me. Well, shake it off. Nightmares aren't real, you know. At least not most of the time, I said to myself. And that's, let's see what chapter. Chapter 10. That was the end of chapter 10. Yeah, 10 is a number. I went to college just to learn that fact. 
so yeah, I this chapter contained something I really like in the Animorph series. That's the fact that they live normal human lives. Yes, they're they're trying to stop a force that's trying to take over the world, but and they have many adventures about that, but. There's also the fact that they actually have to live normal human lives. It's not just about big battles and saving the world, it's going to school. But yeah. Yeah, I was, I was going to say something and I'm like, can I make this thing not spoilery? And I'm like, no, it involves some twist near the end of the book so I can't say what I wanted to say and I'll discuss that when we actually get to that part in the book or maybe I'll just forget you know who knows <laughs> and let's see yeah let's and oh yeah Hey, <laughs> when I don't do these things for a while, I like, totally forget the setup because I love But anyways, if you have any opinions on this chapter that you want to tell me about, comment below. Let me know. Also, remember, I want to keep this, well, spoiler-free as possible for those who haven't read the series. So if someone just randomly happens to run into this video, and here's my terrible attempt at acting. Then they're like, hey, I want to read this book. You know, they won't have big spoilers. So minor spoilers, okay. Big spoilers, no, no. <laughs> and yeah. So, and if the, you are one of those people that you've run into this video and you're like, I want to read this actual series, if you're watching this on the YouTubes, there's a link down in the description where you can go to Amazon and buy it. And if you're watching this on my lovely blog, go down below the video and you can see a link to buy this book. So, awesome. And you can buy it new or used, so try that out. Yo. <laughs> and when I woke up today, it was Halloween. I was going to be like, oh, happy Halloween at the end. Then, I'm like, when people view this, it's not going to be Halloween. You know, yeah, you know, but <laughs> my Halloween has been an alone thing. <laughs> Didn't really do much today for Halloween, but I was watching some horror movies The Green Inferno. I, it's not a type of movie I usually like, but I watch that, and I'm currently making my way through the first Final Destination movie again, and if I can make time before I go to bed tonight, I'm going to now try to watch another movie. Who knows? <laughs> I was like, yay! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. I don't like it when people are like, oh, Josh, I have a question. Like, I thought... I, sorry you think I'm smart. But besides posting anything about Animorphs in the comments, please tell me what you did for Halloween. You know, exciting or unexciting. Now, okay, that's the full bottle, it seems. Okay, now this is the part of the video where I do a little toast to something or another. And while I drink a little sake, uh, you can feel free to join me by drinking another alcoholic beverage, or if you don't drink alcohol for whatever reason, you know, drink something like tonight it's water. But, you know, hydrate yourself. Be smarter than the rest of us. <laughs> and let's see what to do today. What to do today. Um, everyone had a safe Halloween, and that anyone living in the New York City area 
has is okay is fine and that you didn't lose anyone today I have not fully read up on the story yet I'm just trying to keep all happy right now so I'm plus I don't want to comment on something until a few days have passed and you know more information comes out because I don't like to make any public statements about something big without you know, first digesting the facts and then learn it, you know, first learning the facts and then digesting them. So, cheers to both of those. And my friend and person I do j, j Mondays with, which is a podcast, uh, words what are words uh, lives in New York and I made sure that he was okay and so he's fine so I'm glad about that so hopefully you have today isn't a sad day for you and until next video goodbye